everyone welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new my name is the clumsy simmer and today we are in new crest and i am building a suburban home for you guys that can fit three different generations so that is up to two grandparents up to two parents a teen a child an infant and a dog um you can take away the decorations that I decorated for the dog and have either another sim or a cat or a horse or whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be a dog, but that is what I ended up decorating it for. And um, so we are getting the exterior all put together for the most part. Um, this particular style of suburban home Definitely uh, seems to be my go-to. I have no idea why whenever I build suburban homes they they look pretty much like this and they might have some different features here and there but for the most part they look like this. I don't I did do something new that I don't normally do. I think I've done it once or twice before and that is the front door being kind of to the side and putting a window right next to the front door. So I don't typically do that. It, I always have a front porch in The Sims, but I will just put a door big enough to fit the wall. I don't typically do a smaller door with a window like I did with this build, but I do really like the way that looks, especially from like the inside, the interior view. It just gives it an extra detail. I don't know, maybe more realistic. I don't know if it's realistic or not, but I do like the look of that a lot. And as you can see, I am kind of going back and forth when it comes to the color scheme. I had no idea what color I wanted to do on the outside. I almost did like the brick on the bottom and then the paneling at the top, but that just wasn't looking right to me for some reason. I do love doing that on builds, but for this shape of house, that just was not, there was something off about it. And so I decided just to do it all one color and I did do blue <laughs> again. But you just, you can't go wrong with the blue panel look. I, it just makes any house look good in my opinion. The other color I like to do on the outside, I do love to do yellow and I love to do green as well. Those are my three go-to colors for exterior homes. They're just my, my three favorites, I guess. But I decided to do blue on the outside of this house and then some yellow accents. So all the windows are white, but the door is painted yellow and then the flower boxes on the outside are yellow as well as the just the regular plants on the outside um, this build it it is a longer video for you guys so I'm sorry about that I like to keep it as short as possible Pro typically I like to try to aim for around like the 25 minute mark. I feel like anything longer than 25 minutes, at least when I watch speed build videos, it kind of starts getting a little boring. But for bigger builds like this, like this is an eight Sam household, so it just comes with the territory when it comes to taking a little bit more time to build. and. It is very cluttered on the inside as well. So if you like cluttered builds, this is going to be right up your alley. If you're not a cluttered build type of person, then this is probably going to be a little bit too cluttered for you. But I wanted it to feel really realistic on the inside. Like eight people are actually living in this house, you know? So I think in the end, it came out really good. I really do love the inside of this house and the backyard. I, I like the whole thing. <laughs> the whole package. Okay, so I the outside looks good. The inside looks good. It's really well decorated. The outside, the backyard on the outside, it's, it really feels lived in, so to speak. So I really, I'm really happy with the way it, it came out. 
And I also love putting those um, basketball hoops, like kind of like in the driveway. So I'll do like a faux driveway because obviously it's not usable <laughs> in the game. There is no cars in the game. Maybe one day. I really hope one day we will get cars in The Sims 4. I mean, it's possible they they said horses would never come. I'm pretty sure one of the Sim Gurus said that at some point. And they ended up coming. So maybe one day cars will come. I just hope they do them good and they don't, you know, rush it. And so they don't work very well. <laughs> that's kind of like a thing that's been happening with the packs. They kind of feel like they've been rushed. And which is nothing for the sim gurus fall it's more of just ea as a whole most likely pushing the sim gurus to hurry up and make this content to put out so that they can make some more money basically so but anyways i am keeping my hope my hopes up when it comes to cars because i love the cars in the sims 2 and the cars in the sims 3 of course because it's open world and you actually can use the cars more but The Sims 2, even that would be perfect for cars in The Sims 4. Like, just copy the way that they are in The Sims 2. They just, your Sim can actually literally go into the car, like open the car door, get into the car, and then they back up and they drive off to the side. And then you have a loading screen. That is something that I feel like they really would be able to do in this game. I mean pretty easily I feel like and maybe it would cause a little bit more work but it would be so awesome if they you know how it's kind of like an open neighborhood but not an open neighborhood you you have to have a loading screen to go to your neighbor's house but you can use the objects throughout the neighborhood so if they do cars then maybe I mean this is like shooting it a little bit too far but maybe they would um make it to where the car can like drive through the neighborhood and then once you get to the end of the neighborhood there's a loading screen that would be awesome and then it, it's something different from the sims 2 and the sims 3 so i mean that'd be awesome <laughs> i'm not gonna keep my high my hopes too high on that one but it would be cool but anyways getting back to the build we pretty much have the entire floor plan out now and now I am just getting the kitchen put together the the way this kitchen came out I really do like it um, these counters are from for rent the new the newest expansion pack and I love the color of those and the look of them and the top of the counters you see how it has like this texture to it, like a marbling texture. I think that looks so good and more realistic than some of the other counters. And I also love um, the ca cabinets at the top, I guess is what you'd call the top cabinets. Um, one of the end pieces have like that paper towel roll with the paper towels on there and I love that because that's pretty realistic too. I don't have a paper towel holder like that but just having paper towels in the kitchen in general is a realistic feel. I feel like most people do have paper towels. Um, and then over here in the corner I have this little breakfast nook place so obviously the whole family cannot fit in this kitchen to eat but I figured like the kids could eat here or just some of the adults for a quick meal and then off into a different room where it's when you first walk into the front door there's that step up and then that room next to it is the it's going to be the dining room and that's going to have a bigger table that's going to be able to fit the whole household and I also made sure to put a high chair in the dining room as well so that your infant can be fed and when they go into toddler stage if you're one of the people that puts your toddlers in a high chair in the sims then you can use that as well but for you know when I'm playing I for some reason my sims will not leave their toddler in the high chair I have no idea why it's either like too hard 
to get your sim to actually leave the kid in the high chair or they'll leave them in there for way too long and then they'll poop their pants, they'll be grouchy, crying, they'll be sleeping and then it's, it's just a wreck. So it's kind of easier for gameplay purposes when you have toddlers to just let them grab a plate like everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's not realistic whatsoever, but I don't know. Something about the toddlers on the high chairs just are a pain in the butt. So that's typically what I do for my gameplay purposes. But the infants, however, they do use the high chairs better, I feel like. Um, if you have growing together, I'm not sure if it's a base game thing, but, or if it's a growing together thing, um, but the whole trying the, your very first baby food or whatever, um, that is so cute for the infants where the Sims will actually help their baby try their very first baby food and then once they get like the motor skills and they're able to like grab objects I think that's when your infant you can just have your sim put some like yogurt melts and stuff down for your infant and I think that's so cute and so realistic I love the way they did the infants I really do I think they did a great job for the infants so with that being said if they do have cars come Hopefully they make them as good as the infants, if not better. Just please, I hope they take their time and actually put out a good car system. Because there's nothing worse than like having your anticipation and your hopes up and you're waiting for this to come and then it it, it sucks. <laughs> kind of like, no offense, but kind of like the 4 rent pack. Kind of sucks because it kind of isn't even... Playable. I mean, playing as a tenant is playable, but the landlord has some issues I've come to realize. So, my initial play of the for rent pack, I didn't really find many issues, but that's probably because my landlord stayed in the same exact building as the other tenants. But if your landlord moves from lot to lot then it causes issues I don't know exactly what the problem is but it the, the UI for the tenant like the landlord page it, it just is not even there so it definitely creates problems and it's kind of a shame because that was a pack that a lot of people were excited for and same for my wedding stories that was another pack that caused a lot of problems and I don't think it's even fixed yet. I think it's kind of sort of halfway fixed but not completely fixed. But anyways we are in the living room now and I did something different with the couches in here. So we have that dream home decorator like three seater sofa and for some reason the Sims team is so bad about putting a three seater sofa like that and not a love seat. And it drives me crazy because I like my love seat and sofa to be matching. You know, it needs to look like they go together. So I love the dream home decorator sofa. It does not come with a love seat. So I kind of made my own love seat using the, the sectional pieces. And the color is obviously not exact. I could have done like a blue love seat, but the walls are blue so I ended up just doing yellow and I think it ended up turning out pretty good and that rug is from laundry day and that is one of my favorite rugs in the game it's really colorful and if you have blue or yellow like couches or just the color scheme in general of the bedroom or living room or whatever it may be as long as you have blue or yellow that rug just pulls it together so nicely Especially if you have blue and yellow like this living room. I just think it looks really good. And then since there's an infant in the house, I wanted to use the infant, like the, the play thing. I don't know what those are called. <laughs> but yeah, those like play things where the infants can reach and stuff. I wanted to put one of those out there in the living room so that the infant can 
your sim can put the infant there and they can just kind of like chill there for a little bit and not roam around the entire house that entire like bottom story and something I like to do if I think about it is to make sure that the infant the room for the infant and probably the toddlers too is on the bottom level so that they can not just be stuck on the second story waiting for one of the adults to bring them down I think that's so sad so I like to keep them on the bottom level if I can so that is what I did here and I did decorate this to be a little infant girl and I I think this uh, nursery turned out really cute I love that wallpaper and rug combo this is actually the first time I'm using it it's from that one of the kits that um, I think it's the one that Plumbella uh, did with the Sims team and I can't for the life of me remember what it's called but some like cute name and so this is the first time I'm actually using the wallpaper and the rug and I think that it turned out so cute. I love the yellow and the purple together like that. Those two colors are not colors that I see often together for some reason but they did turn out really cute together and I'm just trying to figure out some wall decor those trees that I put on the other side I actually end up putting on this wall right here which is what I'm doing now and I just thought they fit a little bit better and really for this nursery there is no rhyme or reason <laughs> I'm just there's you know purple yellow green and some pink and I'm just sticking with those colors and so it's not like a particular theme whatsoever but I think it turned out cute in the end and the, that little like chair there I think is adorable I love putting that in my kids rooms or like maybe sometimes if I'm doing like a super family oriented house this is a family oriented house so I caught it I could have done it in this house if I thought about it but though that little like teddy bear chair right there I will put that in the living room as well sometimes if I feel like it's like a house that's overrun by children <laughs> and um, then I put that little cow plant like measuring where you can have figuratively speaking the, the infant or child as they're growing up you can have them kind of like measure their height that's what it would be used for in real life anyways you can't really do that in the game but you could pretend and then I did not know what to put in that little section right there but it was bothering me because it was blank so I did that little like shelf with the picture and like the little purse or whatever and I thought it turned out really cute and that's pretty much it for the nursery and now we are working on the bathrooms or at least putting the tubs in the bathrooms and Actually, the one of the bathrooms on the upper story, I changed that from being a bathroom and that's, I changed it to being just a regular, um, like, what's the, like, office. <laughs> I could not remember the word whatsoever. It's an office for your Sims to use. There is a lot of Sims in this house and I didn't have, like, any computers anywhere besides the teen's room. So the teen has her own computer and then there's the office computer and I think those are the only two in the house I probably could have put like a laptop on the dining table I do that a lot but I don't know it's just not something I felt like I had to do here so I just got the main bathroom on the bottom level pretty much put together and then this is the grandparents bathroom they have their own bathroom and I put a double sink in there and not that you know sims use double sinks but it's just something to fill up more space and it's kind of realistic looking and one of the kits the clutter kits came with um that little like dentures in a cup <laughs> i think that is so funny and i love using that in my builds now there's like the dentures and i didn't realize this for the longest time but there's actually a swatch on the dentures and the other one is a retainer in the cup and I think that's so funny 
And so I like to use that. The retainer I typically will put in my teen's bathrooms if they do have their own bathroom. And then the dentures I'll put in my elders' bathrooms. And yeah, I just think it adds a touch of realisticness and I think it's awesome. And so we are in the grandparents' bedroom now and I was thinking grandma was kind of like a crafter and she was really into knitting and cross stitching and so I wanted to make sure to put like a little um, there's a dresser in here of course and then I also put like a rocking chair over in the corner and I believe I put a knitting kit right next to the rocking chair like that's grandma's favorite spot to like sit even though if you have nifty knitting or even the cross stitching from cottage living yeah uh, your Sam will literally just sit anywhere and cross stitch or knit like I'm pretty sure that they can even sit on the toilet and knit <laughs> which is kind of funny but um, not very realistic at all like that would be so disgusting to just sit there while you're on the toilet doing your business and knitting someone a sweater can you imagine being that person that received that sweater and obviously you had no idea that they were sitting on the toilet doing their business as they were knitting it but yeah that that would be so horrible <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, so I did end up putting one of those little knitting bags and I am trying to find some glasses. I just found them to put on the end table next to the bed. I think that gives it a realistic touch. And here I am, I just had this idea come through my mind as I was building. I was like, you know what, this backyard is looking kind of awkward and long and it needs to be something needs to be added so I was like oh okay I could add like a little shed out here and it's not really a shed it's more so of like a I end up putting it's like a laundry room like an outdoor laundry room I end up putting the washer and dryer in here and uh, some like painting stuff for one of the sims in the household and I also put like a little for the kids it's like the little drawing table thing and I figured while mom or dad is sitting there painting then the kid could be sitting there painting right next to them on his little table and I think I also put like a woodworking bench in there too so there's all sorts of skill items in this whole build for your sims and I think it turned out really playable and I love this house honestly if I was to play a big family I would probably play with this house but typically when I do play my game I don't play it very often I really build the most or I just create families and, and create a sim but um, Anyways, yeah, so if I do play a house, like I was saying, if I do play a game, then I started my sim off with just one sim, maybe two, and I start them with like zero simoleons. The whole uh, rags to riches challenge is basically what I do. But then I end up getting bored. Is that just me? I end up getting bored by generation like two or three and my sim has just like a basic one story maybe two story home however much that they can afford I never build up enough to buy a big house like this <laughs> because I don't play with cheats it's so boring playing with cheats it's just too easy you know so I don't play with cheats when I do play and I like to build my sims up from the bottom basically but then I lose interest. I don't know. There's something about it that just bores me. I think it's just the lacking of the gameplay in general with this game. But I have actually been thinking about starting a Let's Play for this channel. I'm not sure if that's something that, you know, people would be interested or not. I feel like Let's Plays are getting kind of slow when it comes to people watching. People don't watch them like they used to. 
Um, but I was I was thinking about just doing like a let's play and pretty much just having fun with it. Um, I have some ideas, so I'm not gonna share too much about it right now, just in case I don't end up doing it. But I do have some ideas for some let's plays and. Yeah, that is something I'm highly thinking about doing on this channel, is just a random let's play and see if it is popular or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are getting the outside. I've got all the landscaping done on the outside. I don't add any more plants. The outside is pretty much done. That terrain paint that I just put down does not end up staying. There's something about it that I just didn't... I didn't like so I ended up taking that out at some point and just leaving like dirt in between <laughs> like dirt and grass in between the paved stones that I put there and I also wanted to add something on that driveway it was a little bit blank so I put that um, basketball court paint thing there and I finally was able to I almost didn't use these grilled cheese chairs, but in one of my last videos I did mention how I have not been able to use them in a build. And so, you know, blue and yellow being in this build, I thought it was perfect. So I ended up using those grilled cheese chairs and I use some of the loungers, the grilled cheese loungers here in the back as well. And I don't know, I think it is super cute, super Sims like. And then um, so I love putting these floaties in the pool and I'm putting some pool lights out and typically I will paint the tile on like the inside of the pool but I don't think I did that here I I must have just forgot to be honest but uh, and then I put a hot tub like I did the platform and put the hot tub on the platform I think that area right there looks really cute and then the grilled cheese loungers and just the table like a picnic table for your sims and I wanted to make sure to put a grill out there and here I am just putting like a little picnic table or a picnic basket on the table out there and then I came across that little candy jar from paranormal stuff um, I don't know if it has anything to do with like the paranormal gameplay or not but I thought it was like a cute touch to put in the kitchen as like a candy jar so that's what I did and then I over in this area yeah that's me I almost put a swing set in the front yard but I was like you know what no that's a little bit too much so this house does not have a swing set or a like monkey bar set for your kid or anything like that if I'm not mistaken somewhere in the world of Newcrest there is some like monkey bars and stuff so um, and in this little area right here, I had a hard time filling up this area. I didn't want to just leave it blank. I felt like it was a little bit too boring. And so I wanted to add some like some outdoorsy stuff. So I figured either mom or grandma, maybe, I mean, grandma's into nifting. So maybe mom is a very big gardener. She loves to garden. And so I put, uh, some some planters out there and I thought that little hose thing was cute and a little flower arranging table and I wanted to kind of, yeah here I am doing away with those little like pebble terrain paint so I did away with that it just I don't know there's something weird about it that I didn't really care for so kind of unrealistic I guess because I already had these pavers down right here and so the little pa the pebble pavers really didn't make any sense. So did away with that idea and decided just to use like the dirt terrain paint and just going over one more layer of terrain paint with just the straight soil not like the half grass half soil just to give it a little bit more like dimension and then I love to use those little flower terrain paints and just put it over like a grassy area so that it it gives a little bit something and then it's more it's realistic too because you know when you have a grassy area you typically have weeds in that area and that is what I like to think about those flowers is that those are like the weeds like the pretty weeds that just grow randomly and 
they're called weeds because they're not supposed to be there, I guess, but I don't know if they're really weeds. That's just what my family always called them. And, um, yeah, so I ended up moving that flower arranging table up to this porch right here because I did not know what to put there. Really, we didn't need any more seating, so I didn't put any seating there. And so I figured I came across that eco lifestyle, like, unplayable flower table. So that part's not playable, but the flower arranging table at, on the porch is playable. So, yeah, I just thought it gave it a little bit of extra something. And then those four rent plastic chairs, I love those. They're so realistic. We've been needing some plastic chairs like that really for a long time. But um, we are back inside now. I'm pretty much done with the exterior, completely done with the exterior besides the uh, port or the balcony on the second level off of the parents room. I put a balcony out there and you're not going to see me decorate that because I actually forgot to record myself decorating it. It wasn't until I was taking the screenshots that I rem that I noticed, like, oh, oh, th that's completely blank. So, uh, I ended up just putting some more of those uh, grilled cheese chairs out there, I think. So, yeah, it's just, just a plain old balcony with some grilled cheese chairs, nothing too special. And um, we're getting the dining room put together now. I... Uh, there was something about this dining room that just was not speaking to me at all. It was just kind of boring, you know? So I wanted to add something and I finally figured out, you know what, let's just add a fireplace, even though we do not have a chimney on this house at all. But I added a fireplace in the dining room because I just needed something there. And um, so, that's what I did and in the entryway here I really since there's a dog in the house I really wanted to make use of that cats and dog shelf with like the leash on there I love that thing it's so cute it makes me want to get a shelf like that by my front door with my dogs my three dogs leashes on there but something tells me my dogs are gonna be a pain in the butt like they always are and just grab it down with their mouth and tear it up and uh, so yeah maybe I might end up doing that still but we'll see and I also put some little treats on that table and now I'm back in the dining room trying to figure out what to put in that spot there that I just put some mirrors those mirrors do not stay yeah I, I moved that and I put a fireplace and I end up putting a mirror above the fireplace Kind of copying that cats and dogs one, that cats and dogs uh, fireplace. I love that fireplace, but it's just so big and bulky. It didn't really fit there very good. So I did the, I think that's the parenthood fireplace. I did that with the mirror from Seasons, I believe. And so I am just adding some small little decorations and the rest of the dining room. I really wanted to make sure I, I made use of this family planning board. It's something that I like to put in probably all of my family builds. Uh, if there's one, two, or three or more kids in the household, I do make sure to use that board because it's it adds a gameplay aspect to it. You know, it, it I love the parenthood pack. It's one of the best packs for family gameplay in my opinion. It was really well made and best for gameplay and it has a lot of cute build options too the cast yeah not so much I, i'm not a big fan of the cast from parenthood but the build objects as well as the uh gameplay involved is great i love it um there's enough good cast from all the other packs that it's, it really doesn't it's not a big deal and uh now i am just over into the laundry room and honestly, it's not anything too special about this laundry room. All of my laundry rooms pretty much look the same because I just use the whole, you know, stuff from laundry day. <laughs> I just use that pack in general to do my laundry rooms. And sometimes I think that a uh, little, like, what do you call those? The shelf 
with the laundry stuff on there like that. I think that's actually from Eco Lifestyle. And I will use that or one of the other shelves along with the laundry day stuff to do my laundry room. I think that adds like a realistic touch to do like shelves like that with the, I'd like to say clean laundry that you don't really have a closet to put it in, so you put it on a shelf. I don't know. I don't know. Most people in real life put like their towels and stuff in a closet, I feel like. But anyways, that is the laundry side of the shed slash laundry room. And on this other side, I, I tossed around some ideas of what to do, but I decided just to make it like a creative area for The Sims. And so I put the woodworking table as well as uh, the table for your child sim to do some crafts. And that table is actually from one of the kits, like the Backyard Campers kit, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, my apologies, my dog is, uh, there's someone outside doing something, so my dogs are alert and active and you can hear their nails on the ground and sometimes they'll bark so if they do that my apologies um but <laughs> anyways i i'm looking for some decorations to put on the walls in here i thought it was very blank i never really did figure out any decorations to put in there so pretty much that shed is completely done i don't think i end up putting anything else out there and now we are upstairs working on all the bedrooms upstairs and this is the teens room it is for a teen girl um and she has her own bedroom or yeah bathroom i mean she has her own bathroom and i almost did pink as the bathroom but i end up changing that because the whole scheme of the bedroom changes from this point on I almost did this cute pink bed. I don't think I've done this on a build yet. I think that's so adorable and something that a teen girl would definitely have. But when I did the curtains, they matched the back of that high school year's door. And so the colors ended up changing from pink to blue and purple. And I think this room turned out so cute I love the way this room turned out um, I figured this girl or this teen is probably like a streamer if you have high school years they have the the gaming streamer career I think it's like a part-time job for your teen sims either before or after school and I I really like it I think it's a nice touch I don't like the hours I don't think that's very realistic like the hours are either from like I don't know like 4 to 6 a.m. or 9 to 11 p.m. I guess 9 to 11 p.m. is more realistic but the morning one no not realistic at all who as a teenager woke up willingly at 4 o'clock in the morning unless it was to go to school to get ready and go to school not me at all <laughs> I would sleep as late as possible and then get dressed and walk to the bus. <laughs> that is what I did. Um, did not wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to stream some games. That is definitely not on my high priority list. I was more of a night owl just like I am still. I am still way more of a night owl than I am a morning person. Never have been a morning person. Never will be a morning person. <laughs> But uh, anyways, we are getting the room situated. The colors, like I was saying, this room turned out so cute. And I love that little clutter piece that I just pulled out uh, for the teen rooms. I think that's very realistic. Uh, I know my room was pretty cluttery as a teenager. I, yeah. I don't think I've been in very many teen rooms that weren't cluttered. And then I came across that moon mirror. I think that's from the werewolf pack. And I don't know. I don't know if it really fits the vibe of that room, but I thought it looked really cute and looks like something that a teen girl would like to have. So I put it out there and then I put that cute like constellation rug in the bathroom. And 
I ended up, there was something that I needed to put in that little space right there. So I ended up pulling out the keyboard. What do you call those things? I don't know. I, I think you just call them a keyboard, right? Like the little piano thing. I pulled that out and thought that, you know, that whoever lives in that room is a very creative person. So I figured they're probably into music and drawing and stuff like that. So yeah, I I think I'm done with the teens room now. I, I love that room. I, I think it looks so cute. And we are over into the parents bedroom. I actually already finished their bathroom. That was like a quick and easy one, two, three bathroom. It, it really went by super fast. I was too busy talking about the teens room. I totally missed the bathroom, but I mean, it's standard bad toilet shower. Looks just like the one from downstairs basically. And um, so I ended up using this like teal bedroom set from the high school years. High School Years has some really good build by stuff. I also love the High School Years pack. Uh, the gameplay wise, I feel like it's old quite fast, which is quite sad, but it it's true. It It's kind of monotonous. I mean, and oh my gosh, the school that came with that pack. Why did they not have one of the game changers or whatever they're called now build the school? I mean, I feel like the school is so big, but the interior of it is bland. <laughs> like big old open rooms with barely anything filling up the inside of it. I don't know. I think the school is hideous. It really is. And so I all I have not built my own school yet. I have been too intimidated to do that. It it's such a big build and I have no idea where to start on the exterior or the interior and so I always just download a school off of the gallery <laughs> and there's plenty of good schools on the gallery too so um, that definitely helps the gameplay a lot in that pack is making sure that the school is not boring like the one that comes with the pack is. Yeah, no offense since team, but it's true. And um, yeah, so we are getting the child's room put together now. This is for a little boy that's into sports. I figured that's his basketball hoop outside. Uh, not that little girls can't be into sports either. That's just what I figured was that this is a little boy's room. And that wallpaper kind of you know, I chose that with the bed and the whole room itself is very sports themed. So that is why I figured that was his basketball hoop out there. And I love putting the little book bags outside in my teen or kids rooms. And if there's a lunchbox in the house, I always make sure the lunchbox matches the, the book bag. I don't know why it's just realistic and cute. And we are pretty much, yeah, we are done with the ch child's room and real quick, we are putting together the office space up here. This was almost a bathroom, but I turned it into an office. Uh, I figured there was more than enough bathrooms in this build and not enough computers. <laughs> and so I ended up putting this as an office. But anyways, we are nearing the screenshots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Please, if you did, like, share, subscribe. This would help my channel out a lot. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? Ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Something from nothing I sit here looking for an 
question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed Yeah, yes, this Something from nothing. Life lessons come one in a dozen.